day and welcome to the Allegheny State Park Geobash road trip. So made it across the border, stopped for lunch and that's in uh, Joanne's hobby shop here uh, doing some uh, cross-border shopping. I'm gonna grab a couple caches close by. Everything's in bloom. Hopefully we can find this cache. Yeah, we're just outside the Home Depot in the little wooded area here. Four feet here. Lots of trees that could be hanging from. But pill bottle in the tree. I'll get that signed in, signed up, and on to the next. Alright. This one's a uh, actual puzzle cache. And G said brings me to this hole in the ground with water through, through it. But I think I see the cache down here. If you can see it down there. This cache is by the deadliest cachers. I've heard the name before. So let's go check it out. Yep, that's the cache. Looks like a stick of dynamite. We just had a warning about stuff that may look like explosives, but I think this is fake enough that people aren't going to mistake it for a bomb. It's got a geocaching logo on it. Oh, that's a uh, tr terrain three. I didn't realize it was going to be uh, down the hill. <laughs> so, uh, needed help with the puzzle actually. Uh, I had the right idea, but. Uh, didn't come up with the right numbers and a message off to the CEO put pointed me in the right direction and had the final within a couple minutes it took longer to get down the hill here and find the cash so maybe in a couple more in uh, Buffalo before we uh, head down the road to Allegheny State Park well I'm running out of time here. It's a difficult four, four and a half. Rock pile. <laughs> time to move on. At a cemetery. Had a good idea where it was. Check these out. But there it is. Okay, we're at Salamanca. Close to the Allegheny State Park and we're at a military uh, virtual dedicated to the Indians. <laughs> yep, go ahead. <laughs> we have other cachers here as well taking pictures of our travel book. And there's a giant tank here as well. So I took the picture in front of the sign. Pretty cool tank or gun here. <laughs> so traditional here all right we're at the uh, flash mob in Bradford before the event uh, tomorrow quite a few people here in Bradford by the river, quick one by one guardrail cache. So we're at uh, McDonald's in Bradford, and what McDonald's isn't complete without a oil well. And this oil well is the uh, oldest producing oil well in Bradford. So. There's actually an earth cache here that we uh, grabbed about four years ago, but there's also a traditional here. And it's just down in the bottom of the gate. This little whiz bang was just laying on the ground back here. <laughs> Easy find. Well, Bradford's known for to be the home of the Zippo. And we're outside the Zippo. A museum here. 
Oh, cool little Zippo car. Of course, there's a cache here, but we already grabbed it. Just noticed all the lamp posts are uh, Zippo lighters. <laughs> Top for a cashier, and there's a cool little uh, water coming out of the ground. Pretty cool. Another waterfall coming down.